Hello, this is Tatsuya. Today, I'll talk about what I thought of the suicide of a famous Japanese chef in Paris, Sekine Tak. I can't, I can't organize my mind, but I have to say something. It's, it's a grave and important matter. Let me quote an article from the BBC. A Japanese chef known for his restaurant in Paris has died of suicide. His family says, Taku Sekine took his own life on Monday after he was the target of false sexual assault claims. A statement from his relatives said, his restaurant, Darso, was named best in France in 2016 by Hooding. No official complaint had been made against Sekine, and he was not being investigated by police. He had denied the allegations. Over the summer, an Instagram post from an alleged victim said she had been sexually assaulted by an unnamed chef. Women in the industry put their support behind the woman. Ida reports. According to AFP news agency, the Atabla website published a long investigation in August into sexual abuse and harassment in top French kitchens, saying that a well-known Japanese chef whom it did not name could be accused of rape. Sekine said he would fight to clear his name. His family said he had become caught in a violent spiral of depression after the allegations were made against him. This attack on his honor and his integrity was profound. In a depressive process, identified and known to doctors. Taku Sekine lost sight of how he could get out of his search. The statement said, Atabura defended its reporting in the aftermath of the chef's death. BBC News, Taku Sekine, top chef takes own life after assault allegations. Although Mr. Sekine would have been irrelevant. Many people hurt him and made him kill himself just because he is Japanese. I am sad. The police have not arrested Sekine or suspected him to commit sexual harassment. Why should the innocent chef have died? I don't intend to accuse a person or a website. The alleged victim didn't say that Mr. Sekine did assault her. A table just showed us the assault nationality. But many citizens read this article and killed, killed him indirectly. I think a tabra should take responsibility. Were it did so based on its justice? The act has a risk of defaming innocent people's dignity. You can't delete the fact that a tabloid article has led the Japanese chef to take his life. It must explain why it alleged him as a harasser. I don't regard it as a murderer, but as a factor that depressed him. However, a tabla is just one fact. The more important thing is the too much justice of the readers. The article says a Japanese chef. The readers suspected that the man is Sekine. They, led by their selfish judge, killed the innocent, talented man. 
too much justice deprived him of his life. I was hoping you could think whether too much justice and too much meat movement saved women. I don't believe so. Rather, such too much activities defamed the men and some women. I agree. I agree with the basic principle of feminism and Me Too activity. I firmly believe that society should empower women and I want to realize gender equality as soon as possible. However, some of the watchers wouldn't believe what I say, as I'm Japanese. But trust me, I sincerely support feminism. Please get at it. However, even such a person thinks that extreme feminism is dangerous. I want to tell you, no matter what justice you have, it can bring a sad result if it gets too harsh. I do hope that justice doesn't harm innocent people again. Rest in peace, Tuck. That's all for this video today. Thank you for watching.